Willamette Valley is really kind of an interesting little island uh, climactically. So you th think of the Willamette Valley as a V, and up at the top of the V is the Columbia River and sort of the city of Portland. Um, and then on either side of the V, you have mountain ranges. Uh, so to the west, you have the Coast Range. And, um, you know, these are older mountains, uh, sort of uh, thrust up uh, continental plate material. And then uh, on the east side, you have the Cascade Mountains. And the Cascades are uh, volcanic in origin. They're fairly recent. They're very tall compared to the Coast Range. And so the valley sits between these two mountain ranges, but it's protected from these extremes in climate. So over here from the Pacific, you get a lot of cold, moist air. Um, you know, Tillamook gets about 80 inches of rain a year. Uh, the Willamette Valley gets eight, excuse me, that's not true, 40 inches of rain a year. And then once you get over the top of the Cascades, they get eight inches of rain a year. So the Cascades then, on the other side of that, is desert. It's, uh, it's, it's high desert, it's the Great Basin Desert over there. And so like any desert, uh, it gets very cold in the winter, continental you know, climate, very cold in the winter, and super hot in the summer, very dry. And so when we get winds from the east in the summer, they'll wash down through the Columbia Gorge and come down through Portland and, and drop down into the valley and heat the valley up. But then there's kind of a countervailing influence from the coast, uh, where it, it, it blows through these notches in the coast range. And probably the most important notch in the northern Willamette Valley is this, is this uh, valley called the Van Duzer Corridor. And so this is kind of a low cut in those Coast Range Mountains that brings in cool air from the coast. And so, you know, while we might be 80, 85, 90 degrees during the day, at night the temperature can drop as low as 45 or 50 just because we're getting this coast air coming in from the Van Duzer. South of the Dundee Hills where we're planted, is the Olamide Hills, and they're almost at the mouth of the funnel. And so they really get that, that coastal influence very strongly. In the Dundee Hills, which is just north of, of, of the Olamide, we kind of get this eddy effect from the, uh, from the Van Duzer Corridor. And so uh, we get these kind of swirling winds in the afternoon, um, uh, mixed, mixed warm and cool, but then cooling in, in the evening. And that Van Duzer effect washes south, and it washes north. And so it's a very, um, it's very site to site to site to site. Uh, the effect of the Van Duzer Corridor is very different. And so uh, every vineyard you, you go visit uh, in the Northern Willamette Valley will have a different story to tell you about how the Van Duzer Corridor affects their grapes.